Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer for Victolic Tools for Revit. I wanted to talk today about a new tool in our toolbar called Disconnect Element. Now this is a tool for temporarily disconnecting elements within Revit so you can make changes to them or to their surrounding pieces without affecting more of your model than you intended to. Now you may be thinking, why would I want to disconnect elements within Revit? This is what makes Revit so powerful is that elements are actually connected to each other. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple scenarios here where you'll find that disconnecting the element before making changes can save you a whole lot of rework. Now within Revit, flange systems, groove systems, and welded systems are all treated basically the same where there be a routing preference for that particular pipe type. And those routing preferences will have default families listed. So where this disconnect tool can really shine is when you have to make changes to either the family or the type or any parameters within a family and you don't want it to affect all the surrounding pieces. So for example, I have this piece of mechanical equipment here, this chiller, and if I wanted to make any changes by uh, editing the family or by editing the type properties of a family, you'll see that some of the things that are connected to it start to act a little weird. So if I were to go to edit type and uh, let's say I wanted to take the chiller length and take it from 13 feet to 15 feet. Uh, by clicking OK here, this chiller gets redrawn, therefore redrawing all of the connected elements connected to it. So our flexible couplings are typically marked by uh, dark ears on them. And now these are back to being the rigid couplings and I don't have to change them again. So one thing we could do is we could use the disconnect element tool on this prior to it. So I'll hit undo on that. Now if I click on this and up in our modify ribbon under pipe tools, I have disconnect element. You'll see that I have show disconnects on where you'll see the little triangles marking each disconnected element. I'll go ahead and edit the type properties here, change it from 13 to 15. Now the chiller has changed and none of the items that were previously connected have changed families and I could use any connect to put everything back together. So there's a workflow right there where you could use two of our tools in tandem with each other to accomplish a task and save yourself a whole lot of clicks. Now the same thing can happen if you try to change directions on a valve or a suction diffuser family. So if I move over here to one of our pump drops, you'll see that our flexible couplings are marked here with the dark ears. So if I were to try to change the direction of this strainer here or this valve, you'll see that Revit does some odd things where my flexible couplings are now marked as rigid couplings. The flange that was connected to this piece of mechanical equipment is now at the wrong side of the reducer. So this is a perfect instance where you could use the disconnect elements tool to fix it. So two different ways you can use the tool, you can either select the item first and then from the modify ribbon use the disconnect element tool that will work on just that one element. Or you could from the Victolic tools hit disconnect element over here and now anything I click will get disconnected. I'll go right to this valve and then I'll do the strainer. Okay, escape out of the command. Now I can easily just change orientation, change the direction. Now using any connect, which I have set up as AC on my keyboard, I can go from coupling to valve, valve to coupling, coupling to strainer, and strainer to coupling. Another interesting example of how to use the disconnect element tool would be if you had to use a particular part outside of your system specification. Like for example, I of course have a groove system here but this particular valve that is in the middle of my groove system requires some flanges. Now certain movements to this flange, editing of properties, will absolutely affect the way that Revit handles the connected elements around it. Like for example, if I wanted to change the body length of this particular valve, that's a type property, and I change the body length from two and a quarter inches to three inches, you'll see that the pipe type will take over and it will reset the default connectors on both sides back to whatever the pipe type defines. So one way around this, I'll hit undo again. I'll click on this valve. I'll click on the disconnect elements tool. I'll change whatever I need to change within the valve. Okay, and then using any connect, 
I can put this thing back together. Okay, so that's the Victolic Disconnect Element Tool found in the Productivity Tools section of Victolic Tools for Revit. If you have any questions about the AnyConnect tool, which I've referenced many times in this video, make sure you watch the AnyConnect video. And thanks so much for watching.